still stuck out of the water and we don't know when we're going back in yet. And I don't know, I gotta, don't know, we'll just say, see how we go here. Down for a bit of squash today. So we got some really good news yesterday. We have now been on the hard stand in lockdown here in Malaysia for 25 days. There's we could definitely be in worse places. This is how we start go. most mornings. Yoga for me. See a lot of colors. Only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors. Lost within Sometimes Lee joins me. Don't rely on others. To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Sometimes we do a workout together By the shore While you're on the open sea Cannot take this There are a lot of voices drowning in the sea. There's too many voices talking back at me. There are a lot of choices. And sometimes the whole family when gets moving. To be made. Too many choices making me afraid. I've got this thing out today. I don't like it. I've used it once before, I think. Our exhaust manifold here has four bolts. Actually got three and a half at the moment. So we had to remove the heat manifold to um, get the valve in yesterday. So we moved that out of the road so we could get our valve on. There's like 10 mil clearance, so it's really tight. But I was just tightening up the last one, going around the world and got to that one and give it the last, it was my last little nip up and it broke. So what it is, um, it's a stud which uh, goes into an aluminium manifold there and I'm going to try and get it out. I'm going to have to remove that and I don't know, I gotta, don't know, we'll just say, see how we go here. So, I've just tapped another thread into here. It's been like 20 different size drill bits to drill this old one out. Oh, I've got a new bolt and that should screw into there. I think we're back in business. Oh, thank goodness. It was all from like one accident of knocking it out, eh? Oh, I wouldn't say accident, just old bolts and just a little bit of over tightening. Under the air con and I'm still. Whew. You're in a day spa, honey, you're in the sauna. Yeah. Detoxifying. I think I put it back together now. Oh, that's good. Is that problem sorted? Oh, hopefully. We'll see how we go. We'll get it back together and hopefully no other bolts snap. All right, so today's job, Lee has repainted the floor in the bathroom. It was a bit gross, or it was just actually, it was all peeling up, but this is just the primer, so. We've got our valves in over there and our skin fittings, and he's just tidied up the floor. Because, you know, we're just finding jobs to do because we're still here. Still stuck out of the water, and we don't know when we're going back in yet, so. Just finding things to do, you know? There's always plenty to do. Especially on this boat. <laughs> Getting jobs out of the way that we probably wouldn't have done, so it's not a bad thing. Happy Easter! Um, it's Easter Sunday today, and we're still in the hard sand, we're still in the dry dock. We just had some people come around and deliver us some hot cross buns. That's real nice. We don't have any Easter eggs this year. And we're just uh, about to cook them up 
and has some hot grass buns. Bella's just talking to her cousin. What? Do you still play the violin? Happy Easter! So we're going for a swim. It's the skater crew overtaking me. Happy Easter, Bella! Happy Easter, guys! Happy Easter! We're going to have a swim and cool off, even though the water is about 30 degrees. <laughs> but it's nice to break up the day. Oh, I'm getting barreled! <laughs> All right. I am not so sure you believe me But if I mean to show I will never let you go No Another one of these jobs today. Our pump's making a funny sound and it is dripping through here. So the water's getting under here. Do -do -do. And then coming down under here, leaking here. You can see Fingers the way water way. right there. Fingers so it's dripping onto our pump and then it comes down to our pressure switch and it has done this before in episodes we had the pump fail and that was the problem so i'm going to move all these pumps over plus fix the leak and if it does leak again it won't wreck our pump so that's our job for today <laughs> so today is uh testing to be a bit of a challenge for us our new freezer that we're in love with that was working so perfectly great decided to not work properly today so oh, we just filled it Lee went to the shops yesterday and filled it up with meat and we've got a heap of frozen fruit in there now it's not working uh, we've emailed we've contacted Engel and they're happy to help us but they can't do anything till tomorrow because everybody's left for the day so we had a bit of a win I've been able to grow some sprouts and I haven't had any luck with these since um, I was in Australia so we do have air conditioning at the moment uh, I'm not sure if anyone can let me know if it's really hard to grow sprouts in the tropics but yeah we haven't had any luck until now and we are in air conditioning so these ones have been growing I think this is about day five this I just put these ones in there it's super easy and these are great if you ain't able to get any fresh greens well, it's not as bad because it's only just started leaking. So I might just clean them up and this might work. But just the water was getting between the two. Oh, then we've got a spare pump. Yep. It's always good to have spares, guys. It's in the wrong position. The hose isn't long enough. There's a lot of scenarios that it could be, but sometimes he's in the moment and he can't answer my delightful questions. So I'll just have to tell you guys what I think's happening. He's now looking for a new position for the pump. He's having a little bit of trouble because the pipes are only, you know, so long. He doesn't have a lot of room under there. But you know what I do know? He's real good at working stuff out. And uh, I bet ya, he comes up with a real good solution. not quite sure what to do. It will come to him, it's just not come to him yet. Too many pipes, too many things come into play. That's probably why he's never moved it before, because this isn't the first time the water has dripped on it. So he's probably going over in his head, why didn't I move it last time this happened? This is probably the reason. So you can't figure it out. Oh, this looks like a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Are we sticking with this position? Thinking about it. He's doing an R-ing. There's a lot of head movement here. Stop. <laughs> Don't 
talk us through, babe. Don't you like my commentary? You had to cut some pipes and do some things before it got placed there. Is that what you did? Yeah. Cut some pipes. So if it does leak again, the water's not going to drip straight down on our pump. Anyway. So that's good. It's uh, He put the old one back in because it didn't look too bad, but it's still got a pretty weird noise coming out of it. So. It may not last much longer, but we do have a spare when it dies. Good job, baby. Now get out of the kitchen so I can make some food. So this is the latest little addition. Lee just uh, plumbed this up. Usually I had to put that pipe onto the end of the tap. It wasn't too bad, but it was just annoying. But now all I have to do is turn this. Now I can fill up the washing machine. How good's that? Oh, he's a bit of all right. You go all right there, Captain. Yeah, sometimes. We are on an island with a resort, and the marina guests are able to use some of the resort facilities. And to break up the boat jobs, today we are trying something new. Down for a bit of squash today. It's Bella vs Lee. Who's going to be better? Oh, Lee played squash out in the mines. He's a bit of a professional. He ordered some rackets. <laughs> so they got some rackets off Lazada. Lee ordered them weeks ago, but they just arrived today, so exciting. Play ball! Thought. Oh, How the heck did it get down there? Sorry. So there's a little bit above the red line just there. We'll get it. We'll get it. Oh, that was so close. Oh. Well, I didn't film it, but he came pretty close to that light. Yeah. Um, he was illustrating a book which he's been doing for a while. Some of you ask where he is all the time and that's where he's been for a while, illustrating a book. We lock him up to do that. He can't come out until he's finished. We let him out today to play squash. Time for a swim now. That was fun. We've worked out that Lee's best at squash. The rest of us need a little bit of practice. <laughs> So we got some really good news yesterday. We are going to be able to get put back in the water on Monday. It's Saturday today, so um, as you can see, it you know, isn't quite ready. We were leaving our anti-foul paint till just before we knew we were going to get put back in and um, we got told yesterday that we could go back in on Mondays. So we've just got our anti-foul 
which we'll do today and tomorrow and then we'll be going back in the water which is super duper exciting we've been out of the water for over a month we we're planning on being out for a week Lee is just hosing down the boat last time it got primed was a little while ago so scrubbing where the water from the tap comes out cleaning all of the hole before we any foul it'd be good to get back in yeah how exciting I'm a bit nervous actually, we've done all the skin fittings, just want to make sure things don't leak when we go back in. That's a good point. <laughs> Check everything before he unstraps us. <laughs> Wish us luck guys. We're not going in for a couple of days, but anyway. We're going to paint today. We're going to get our anti-foul on. The preparations to anti-foul begin. So join us next time as we bottom paint Catalpa and finally, after 40 days out of the water, we get put back where we belong. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you liked that video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. A thumbs, us up. A thumbs up. We'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.